sweet sticky pan sauce beautifully cooked chicken and this one so super easy my friends this is my vietnamese style caramel chicken all right so typically when you're thinking of pan sauce and pan searing chicken uh, you're generally kind of thinking of european food maybe a french style kind of dish well the french aren't the only ones that have amazing pan sauces we're going to make a really beautiful vietnamese style caramel sweet tangy garlicky peppery kind of thing here oh, i get so excited just thinking about it <laughs> And it's really easy. So let's get going on the chicken part. First of all, I'm using some bone in chicken thigh pieces with the skin on because you guys know by now I am a legs and thigh girl when it comes to chicken. But, you know, you can totally do chicken breast as well. I do find, you know, the darker meats tend to retain the juices, stay, you know, a little bit more moist in the pan, which I like. But the main thing here is let's season this properly so a little bit of salt and we're going to sear the chicken first of all so for me like the success of any kind of pan sauce whether you are doing a European style or this Asian style is layering the flavor so seasoning the chicken getting a beautiful golden crust on the chicken which in turn imparts a beautiful amount of flavor into the pan it's all about just the little steps building up to something really good so my pan's hot, I'm gonna add in a little bit of oil. All right, let's get everything in there sizzling. And now you'll need to exercise a little bit of patience here. Just give these guys like five or six minutes to really develop a nice color on that first side. All right, these are looking pretty good. I'm gonna turn them over. You can see that's some nice colour that we've got there. Now just a couple of minutes on this side and then I'm going to pull that chicken out. Alright, these chicken pieces are coming out. They're not cooked through yet. We're going to do that later on, don't worry. Be patient. And we've got quite a lot of fat and liquid sizzling away in the bottom of this pan here. So I don't need all of that. I'm going to take some of it out. But don't be throwing that good chicken fat away. Make sure you keep it for the next time you're going to roast up some potatoes. Throw it in there and mm, that will make your potatoes extra special. Now I've left a tablespoon or so of fat in the bottom of that pan and now let's make our pan sauce. Okay, so I'm going to start off with some garlic. Now I don't want that garlic to colour too much. So I'm going to get some sugar pretty much straight in there. Some brown sugar, some fish sauce. And we're kind of building like a caramel kind of situation here. The smell of that garlic and fish sauce is such a wonderful Southeast Asian smell that's so comforting for me. All right, that's bubbling away. So now I'm gonna get in some coconut water and just any coconut water from your supermarket is fine. I'm here in Bangkok, so I get fresh coconut juice, which is great, but store-bought is fine too. And now I also just want a little dash of black pepper here. And when that starts bubbling again, I'm gonna put my chicken back in to finish cooking. And that really does give it a really beautiful Vietnamese style character with the pepper and the garlic and the fish sauce. Ah. All right, so I'm gonna turn this down a little. I kind of want that sauce, I do want that sauce bubbling away a little because it's gonna thicken up and reduce and get really nice and concentrated. But I don't want that to happen too quickly. So just a couple minutes on this first side. Now I'm going to turn the chicken over so that I'm going to get lots of that sticky sauce all over that chicken and get a really nice colour. So turn that over and just let that bubble away for 10 minutes or so. Just keep an eye on it, make sure it's not burning. If it does seem to get too thick, just add a little bit more coconut water, a little bit more water. All right, well this is smelling amazing. Let's take a look and see what we've got here. Oh, look at that colour, look at how sticky that sauce is simple ingredients and a little bit of time magic all right I'm going to turn these over and then just to make sure that they're cooked through I'm going to put the lid on turn that heat right down to low and let them go for another 10 minutes 
Okay, that gives me plenty of time to get some final little bits and pieces ready for the end of our dish. Some cucumber here. This one kind of gives us a really fresh, crunchy cut through for that sticky, tangy sauce. And some coriander. Spring onion is just as good here if you're one of those that doesn't happen to like coriander. And then a final little bit of colour here with some fresh red chilli. Now let's take a look at our chicken. Oh, pure magic in here, my friends. Pure joyful magic. Look at that sauce. I just like to drizzle some of that chicken, make sure everything is beautifully coated in that sauce. And then let's get this onto a plate. This is a great one to serve family style. Now just go ahead and drizzle that epic sauce all over the top. Just a little sprinkling of coriander here, some chili. Pop that cucumber out into a bowl. You can serve this with some steamed rice as well, or even just like a nice salad is good. And there you go guys, chicken dinners don't get much better than this, my friends. All right, let's just see how we've gone here. Take one of those pieces. Oh, that sauce is like beautiful balance of salty, tangy, a little sweet, and then that chicken is so tender and so beautiful. Mm. Yum. Oh, 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 oh